What's up guys, we're back with the Carolina Panthers rebuild. Um, I'm going to do a couple quick trades. Robbie Anderson was just traded away today. Um, he ended up had like a pushing match with one of his coaches, I guess, or something like that. I can't remember how the video went. Um, but they ended up trading him away today to the Carolina, I mean, no, not Carolina, sorry. Um, the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, so we'll probably, we're going to trade him away and we might trade away maybe our like third string running back for like a pick or something. Um, I'll let you guys know what we end up trading for. Alrighty guys. So I think I'm going to take this trade from Denver for, um, Jerry Judy, Aaron Patrick and Kelvin Anderson, uh, for Robbie Anderson, uh, Dante Foreman, and then Rashad Higgins. Um, Rashad Higgins and Dante Foreman are kind of... I'm going to go with this trade with Denver. And I might try to see if we can make one more trade, and then we'll sim through the preseason. Alrighty, guys. So, it's kind of just scrolling through, um, wide receivers and trying to see. Um, so there was two I was really interested in. I was interested in Christian Watson and Zay Jones. Um, they both kind of have decent, um, trade offers for them. Um, but I think I'm going to go with Christian Watson here. Um, it's a second for this year and a fifth for next. I feel like we could definitely develop him. Um, he's only a normal dev right now. So it might take a little bit to get him to like a superstar. But I feel like if we could have a nice couple decent games with him, we could hopefully get him to like a star dev. And maybe if he wins like offensive rookie of the year or something like that, we could get him a superstar. But I feel like we're going to go with him here. And we might look into another depth player because I'll just scroll through real quick. Um, as you can see, our quarterbacks are a little little shallow. Um, Coral's also injured. I did go with pre-injuries on just to kind of go with whoever's injured and make this a little bit more fun. Um, we have Christian, McCass Tri uh, Christian McCaffrey and then Chubba Hubbard. Um, I feel like we're going to rock with these two mainly. Um, we have Rasheen Blackshear, which he's got nice agility and speed on him. Um, he's a nice little, uh, throw it in the, uh, backfield kind of back. Um, our wide receiver core is already looking a lot better. We have, um, DJ Moore, Judy, uh, Chenault, and then Marshall and Watson. Um, so we got a good five here. Um, one of the trades with Jay Jones was like Shy Smith and one of our tight ends. Um, it was Ian Thomas, which we have Tommy Tremble and he's going to be starting for us. So I might be interested in that just because actually let's see what Sullivan's speed and stuff is. He's more of a vertical threat and I think he's like the same speed, if not faster, I think. Um, Ian Thomas is 83 speed, but I could be wrong. Let me just double check. Yeah, he's 83 speed. So, um, the other guy is definitely a little bit faster. So we might go for that just to have extra depth there. And I feel like that will definitely help our wide receiver out. Well, wide receiver core a lot because, um, Zay Jones is also like a 77 overall. So he'd be coming in higher than, um, he'd be our number three wide receiver, so I feel like that'd be huge for us. Um, offensive line, we're going to have to work on, I think he's a rookie, um, which I think he's going to be a star dev or something like that, so that's going to be a nice addition to our offensive line. Um, our in interior offensive line is going to need some work. Um, actually, our right guard's not too bad. Um, he's getting up there in age, and Taylor Moten, um, probably got a couple of years left in him before he starts decreasing, maybe. I'm not sure how it works with offensive linemen. Um, our defensive line, I am very happy about. Um, I, I'm a big fan of Brian Burns and, um, Derek Brown. So I'm pretty happy about that. Him, I think he was, hold on, just double check. I think he's a star. Yeah, he's a star dev. Um, I, I don't want to attempt to pronounce that name wrong, so, um, but I do like this player as well. Our linebackers, um, I feel like are young. We have definitely a lot of potential in them. 
and I'm definitely kind of excited to use Shaq Thompson. Um, he's a beast. Our DBs are fairly young in C.J. Henderson and J.C. Horn. Um, Dante Jackson's actually not that old. I thought he was like 28. Um, so, I mean, our DB room's actually fairly young. Our safeties kind of need a little bit of work. Um, Xavier Woods is a 77, which is not bad, but our strong safeties position is pretty weak. Um, we might try to look for a little upgrade, maybe in free agency, um, depending on who's available. If we could find like a little 70 overall player or something like that, we could fill in. Um, but I'm going to try to do like maybe one or two some more small trades because I don't want to do nothing too huge. Um, I don't want to like sell anyone yet, and I want to kind of see how our team does this season and go from there. But I'll see you guys once I make another trade. Alrighty, guys. So I just looked at Zay Jones here. Um, I thought Pat Eflon, Eflin, or I don't know how to pronounce his last name, so I'm sorry. Um, I thought he was a little bit younger, but he's actually like 28. And Keith Taylor is a pretty low overall as well as both of them. So I feel like I might go with them, this trade here, because that's I feel like that's huge difference in value there. And I feel like Zay Jones is definitely going to make a huge impact for us. So I'm going to go with this, and I'm going to try to see if we could find a nice little um, younger, lower overall safety to fill in. So we found this guy in um, the trade block. Um, I've never actually heard of this guy, to be honest. Um, I don't think I've ever seen him in this game. Uh, but we have a second round for next year and a fourth for this year is one of the offers here, or Corbett, which I kind of want to keep Corbett because I think he's young. He's probably our highest over our right guard, and we kind of need that with our run game we're trying to improve here. Um, we want to kind of lean off of our run game because I feel like I don't know how Baker's going to do. Um, he's only a 74 overall, and I feel like we're going to have to lean off of our um, short pass game and run game. So very tempted to do this trade here um, for the picks. I don't really want to get rid of all of our picks. Um, let me just check real quick and just kind of see what we have for picks. So we have a first, fourth, and sixth for this year. Oh, and a seventh. And then next year we have a first, second, third, fourth. Okay. So we pretty much have to get rid of a second and a fourth. We'd still keep both of our first round picks, but we're going to lose both of our second round picks for the next two years. Which I feel like we could probably make up somehow. Which I don't really want to get rid of early second round picks. But I feel like our second round pick's not going to get that good of a free, a most strong safety for us. I feel like if we were to do that for him, he's going to come in and start right away. And he's got good speed, good pursuit, good hit power, play recognition. I mean, the only thing this guy's really lacking in is, like, coverage. But he's, like, a strong safety, so. I think we might do that trade with the picks for him and kind of just see how he does. We could always trade him for more if he levels up a little bit so we're just going to do this and we're probably going to try to advance to the regular season i'll see you guys there Alrighty, guys so we are in um week one of the regular season um this is just a quick look at our team um we were getting trade offers for sam darnold but i don't see him like in our lineup so i don't know if he's injured or what but we did get a couple trade offers for him it wasn't anything good so I didn't accept it. Um, but this is our offensive lineup here. Uh, our starters are going to be Mayfield, McCaffrey, Moore, Judy, um, Zay Jones, which is now 78, which actually he's got another level up, and we traded for him, he's a 77. So he's already gone up one, and he might go up another one. Um, Chanel and ho hopefully Chris Christian Watson will have a good year. Um, let's take a look at our defense real quick. Um, this is our defense. There's our new safety. Um, instant huge jump in our um, defensive backs. Um, that 
that will be our team for a little while. We're probably going to rock with that and kind of see how our team does. Um, I'll play most of these games. I'll probably sim quite a few. Um, once we get a Super Bowl win, we'll probably move and try to do another rebuild. Unless you guys want to see more of this, just definitely put that in the comments if you want to see more of the Carolina. Or if you want me to relocate, whatever you want me to do, we could always try to do something and try to make this fun. Um, I'm just going to set the season goals, do a draft class, and kind of just get the strategies all set. And uh, I'll see you guys once we're jumping into week one. Alrighty guys, we're kicking off into week one here. Um, looks like we are kicking the ball off first. I didn't change the jerseys or anything, and we ended up setting our season goal to um, seven wins. Um, hopefully we could do that. I'm kind of hoping we get a better draft pick, but it's either I want to be like far back in the like um, standings, or I want to be like almost a playoff team. So. Alrighty, I kind of turned on the sound. I hope that's a little bit better. Um, so we're playing Deshaun Watson. I'm actually surprised they have him in here and not like injured or something like that just because his suspension. But let's see. We probably won't do too much defense just because of time and try to get some games in. Um... I'll probably do more offense in videos, like maybe just like offense only in games. If you guys want to see more defense, just let me know. I'm totally fine with playing like a game at a time or something, but. That was a nice play there by them. Nice play there. So we're going to try to get back here with Derek Brown real quick. Oh, there goes Deshaun Watson. I totally just missed that. That's horrible. I missed like two tackles there. It's been a while since I've played on defense, so. In our last um, little uh, franchise season we had going, oop, fumble. Nice, we got it back. Um, our last franchise we had was the Relocation franchise, and I was going through editing some of our um, last couple games, like going into like the whole off season, and like my sound was like all messed up. Like it was just so quiet, you could barely hear my voice. So I ended up having to like just end that season, and that's why we're starting this one. But. It was a nice season. I could start it up in the after season, but we're gonna miss like the whole like leading up to it in the whole off season. So there's a nice play there, nice catch by Zay Jones. We try to do another run to Chris McCaffrey here. That was a nice play. I've like haven't used Christian McCaffrey like at all, so I'm kind of excited to finally use him. Nice play by Tommy. All right, third and inches. We will probably just try to run up the gut here. Um, yeah, I'm fine with the inside zone. This should be a first down. Um, inside zone's really nice for at least a couple yard gains. So we're already starting off pretty good on our run game. Um, actually, let's try to do a little screen here and dump it off to McCaffrey. Nice. Nice little first down there. So we're starting off good. I don't want to force anything. Um, I might try this like little short pass here. Maybe hit somebody midfield. I don't really want to push something unless they're like open. 
I just kind of want to slowly drive up. We're also playing on five minute um, quarters. I usually play on like six or seven, but just for the sake of videos and trades and stuff like that, or any like other stuff in them, just trying to keep them not as long. Miles Garrett came off that edge and I tried to escape. I ran right into the other defensive end. It was a nice um, play by them. I don't know who to hit on this type of play. Uh, Zay Jones got open there. Nice play. Almost a first down. I'm, I think we could run right up the middle here and get a first down. Um, Zay Jones is looking good so far for us. Nice little play by McCaffrey to spin through for an extra couple yards. We will probably run it again up the middle. Actually, this is gonna probably going to have to go outside. Because I feel like that linebacker is going to... Yep. Ah, oh, it should have been a touchdown. Ah, we'll, just, we'll just run it again. I don't think they'll stop them two times in a row. If so, we'll just have to do a little curl route. There we go. Christian McCaffrey's in. I feel like he's going to be a huge part of this rebuild. I can't believe they're like in talks of trading Christian McCaffrey right now. I mean, I guess um, they're kind of in a need of like a rebuild and anything kind of helps them. The best amount of picks they could get for him, but I know they want a bunch of picks for him. And he's been injured quite a bit, so. I think they said they want, like, at least two first-round picks, which isn't too bad. But I don't know if it's for this year or next year or what exactly they want. But it will be interesting to see where he goes and if he does get traded this year or not. But I'm definitely excited to see what happens around this year's um, trade deadline. I feel like there will probably be some trades. Um, I feel like there's a couple players that might get moved. I don't know if Barkley will be. I don't think they will. Um, I know there's a lot of talks about people saying that they'll probably trade away Barkley while his stock's high. I don't know. I don't think they would because they're doing really good this year right now. Um... He's just someone, just like Chris McCaffrey, that's kind of coming off an injury that's doing pretty good. Um, I can't see them trading him as much as I would. I like to see him in a Giants uniform. I'm not a Giants fan, but I do know a lot of people that. Oh, there's our new trade target we just got. Like I said, I'm not a Giants fan. Um. I do have a lot of friends and family that are Giants fans. I'm definitely uh, more of a Bills fan. Um, kind of grew up in Buffalo. Move outside here. I'm going to hit hit square. Nice toe tap. I really didn't think he was going to get his feet in bounds. I didn't want to run out that far, but... And ended up working out for us. Baker Mayfield's looking pretty good as of right now. Nice little run there for about five yards. So we're going to do this little curl route here. I might hit Tremble or McCaffrey. Oop, Tremble. Alright, let's just do an HP draw here. My X button on my remote just totally got stuck. Alright, so there's a minute left. Let's try um, Mesh Spot here. Might have to hit Judy here. Miles Garrett off this edge is killing us. That's his second sack. Um, he ended up getting only a half sack on his first sack. Me might have to hit more here. That looks like a touchdown. And he got his feet in bounds. Nice throw there by Baker Mayfield. I'm sorry if my remote's a little loud. Um, 
I don't know if I've said it in any other of my videos, but I mean this thing is definitely on its way out. Um, I've had it for a little while now, so it's gotten a little bit louder, and my X button links get stuck. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, my X button is definitely getting stuck like a lot. Let's see if we can get a stop here before halftime. I feel like they might try to go for something here. At least run a couple plays and then try throwing deep. Alright, so that's their run. I feel like they're going to start throwing deep. I don't... They're going to start throwing deep or they're going to try doing a couple short plays. Until they get to like midfield. Nice little play stop there. Got lucky. Bounced off someone in the offensive or defensive line. I'm guessing it was definitely offensive line. I totally just missed that tackle. Oh, they got lucky with the timeout with one second left. They have to go for a Hail Mary here. Um, you don't know who to watch here. I think they're just going to run the three straight. Yep. He doesn't have the arm. Alright, so that's it for the first half. We're about to um, kick into the second half, and we will get the ball first. Alright, so we're getting the ball. We're taking this kick. I might run it out here, because um, we haven't had any kickoff, well, kick returns yet so far. Nice little return. Didn't get out to 25, but... Usually he can take it out to about the 30. Um, Black Shear is definitely pretty small and shifty, so definitely a good pickup by Carolina. He balled out on the Bills um, preseason. Um, he did pretty good. They ended up sending him down to the practice squad, and uh, Carolina ended up signing him. Nice little juke there by Christian McCaffrey. Huge run. He's already on 55 yards, um, rushing on the day already. Nice little throw there to DJ Moore. Baker Mayfield is 9 for 9 on the day. 114 yards passing. Nice stop there by the Browns. Gonna run this here. Nice little run, but I feel like he might be a little gassed because he didn't have the speed he usually has after that cut. So I don't know if he's getting. Yeah, he definitely gonna be tired because Hubbard's in now. So since we got some fresh legs, we might just run it back up the middle again. It seemed our running game has seemed to work so far this game. So they had a nice stop there. They ended up reading that one. Try to just do a short pass here and see what happens. C. Jones is open. He should have the first. He does. One yard on the one yard line. We might just try running up the middle here. Switch to that. And I think we could. Oh, it's Christian McCaffrey again. He is in again for second of the day. And for the draft class, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I did use. Excuse me, sorry. Um, I did use the 20, like, 13, 2023 um, draft class. Um, so that's got, like, Bryce Young and stuff like that in it. So there's definitely going to be some nice picks in there. I think next year we will probably use um, just a default one, unless I could find a good 2024 draft class. Nine yards to pick up there. 
Chubb still finished second in the league with over 1,200 rushing yards. It was his third 1,000-yard season, and he's never had fewer than eight touchdowns in a year. Across the NFL, few backs are easy to count. All right, nice stop, boys. Minute left in the third. We're looking, we're looking good on defense. I am very happy with our um, run defense. We're playing against Nick Chubb, and we haven't had him breaking out to do much. But Deshaun Watson has been tearing us up with his legs. He he only has 40 yards rushing, but he's had three big games. And they've definitely been on like second or third down, where they definitely needed a good run there, and he's been able to get out. Nice tackle there. I really thought he was about to break it. Well, let's just drop back in coverage. I totally just dove at him and he didn't let me tackle him. So we were just talking about shutting down Chubb and there he goes. A nice run by there. They're only down by two scores now, so we need to kind of drive down and just put another one on the board just to seal this game. I think we've only had three drives, and we've capitalized on all three, so we're looking good on offense. I don't think we've had a punt or have had any turnovers yet, knock on wood. But really hope we can make something happen here just to kind of seal this game. Even if they get another score, it's not really going to hurt us. Just try to um, drain some clock and put something on the board. Nice little run. I don't know why he juked to the right. I feel like he probably could have got an extra yard or two if he had juked to the left. But just keep it short. Try to get a couple yards here and there. I don't know why he just dove. I do not know why he just dove. I went to slide. Oh, that's horrible. There was a nice little gap, too. I was just... I hit square to slide, and he just dove right into that guy. Ah, oh, that's brutal. These are starting... They're starting to run the ball a little bit better. Oh, that is not what we needed. Especially in our own side. We just tackled him in for a score. Alright guys, we did not need that. That is that hurts. So only down by one score now, we really need to drive down. That really, really hurt us. Um we cannot let that happen again. We're going to take this out. Nice hit by them. I'm surprised he actually got to the 25 there. Just run it outside to Chris McCaffrey. We're going to swing this left instead of right. Nice little stop, but we got a couple yards there. Let's just throw another short play here. I trust it. Baker's done good, minus that little turnover there. Zay Jones has done pretty good for us as well. He's made some plays. Um, let's just look through our formations real quick, see what we have. Let's run gun. And then run double cross, I guess. I'm probably going to hit Tremble or McCaffrey here. Unless someone burns somebody, but I'm not really trying to go deep. I'm going to do PA digs here. Um, I might hit DJ Moore here on his in, once he cuts inwards. Yep, there he goes. N huge hit stick by them. But Baker Mayfield is still 14 for 14. That is probably, I mean, I've only really done like short passes. all. Like, I've never really done short passes all game. But this is probably my death my highest completion uh <laughs> my highest 
completion percentage um, like for a whole game. So second and eight, they're starting to call timeouts here, which is good. We could definitely drain all three of their timeouts and at least kick a field goal or something and put something on the board. Let's put a sub in and instead of, who's 82? For, let me get to him. Instead of Tremble, can we put anyone else in? No, okay, hold on. Sorry. Let's put, instead of DJ Moore, let's just throw Watson in and see what happens off of that. I know, okay, let's do mesh spot. I know Christian Watson's got some speed, so if we could get to him on, on the inside, I feel like that might help us out here. Oh, that was, I was very scared that was about to be dropped. Nice catch there by Watson. Way to um, make sure to hold on to that ball. Third and three here. I should probably run this, but I don't want to risk anything. I had to throw that one away or else it was a sack. And I, th I think we're in field goal range. Yeah, if we would have took that sack, it would have knocked us out of field goal range. Please make that. Alright, it looks like it is good. So we still ended up getting the field goal. It was very close. I had, If I did not throw that away, it would have knocked us just outside of field goal range. And they probably could have came back with the minute and 40 seconds left. I feel like that was a smart play by us. To just take the chance when we had to just throw it out and put some points on the board. I wanted the touchdown there, but their defense stepped it up. So I think they're probably going to try running the ball a little bit here and then start throwing deep. They're definitely not going to just risk it and throw it deep to start off. There we go. Huge sack there. It's only three yards back, but... He definitely probably could have ran there quite a bit. Gotta watch the sidelines. Gotta watch the sidelines. They don't have a lot of timeouts, so... They're definitely going to try using these sidelines to just stop the clock when they can. It's third and 11. See if we can make a stop here. Oh, that's interception. That's interception. Let's go. That just sealed it for us. That is huge. We're just going to run single back here and try running out right. Not really trying to get too much yards for Chris McCaffrey on the day. He's already done pretty good. He's got two touchdowns on. But he's looking pretty good. Helps XP. I mean, he's already a superstar, so he's not too far from 99 regardless, but... I just wanted to throw it out a little bit. We should be good. That should drain a lot of time. I mean, did not really drain anything. So we'll just kind of let this run down a little bit. And we'll just do another play. Once we get to about 10 seconds, it should be enough to just seal it. There we go. So this fourth and fourth and three. We should be set here. But that is it for week one. We're playing the Giants this week. Looks like we're hopefully we could be in a good start here. Um, Chris McCaffrey only had 81 rushing yards, but with two touchdowns. It's definitely a good fantasy football game there. Um, but alrighty, guys, that is it. I'll see you guys in week two.